Mist made the most money out of any game in the 90s and until Sims came out. Mist, yeah. the best selling PC game of the decade. For good so reason. Good. We, we attribute the Matrix to being the, the killer <laughs> app for DVDs. Mist was basically the killer app for the CD-ROM yeah. drive. Mm -hmm. It was the reason why you got a CD-ROM drive or why you could convince your parents to get it because it was marketed to adults. Yeah. It was a video game that, in a, this was rare for the era. Sometimes you would market games to adults that were like body, like Leisure Suit Larry or something like that. But this was a, a you know, a puzzle game for people that could own computers and not pr perhaps own an NES. Miss pretty much got my dad into gaming and I would play with him. He would just kind of just solve these puzzles. It was just an amazing game for its time. Like even still it stands up. I could go back and play and still be blown away at the atmosphere. The crazy, like the non-story like, exploration you have of being dropped from this island and seeing like all these weird machines and buildings what does any of this mean? And there's nobody there. Mm -hmm. Nobody that was there. The most unsettling no fighting. Thing. Well, it's, no story. It's really just it's Until a hypercard you stack. You know, it's it's a group of interlinked documents and images and, and movie files, and they they found a way to it's sequence so, that. So to into explain a game. what Jared's saying, yeah. it's it's basically a slideshow, right? Like a series of pre-rendered images. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, and and, and, and but interactive in yeah, really exactly. great ways. Yeah. But no. it's not a, like a you know like it's not a, a landmark 3D experience anymore. Like Doom is kind of amazing to see it in, in motion. Yeah. But Mist at the time was this this kind of aesthetic that people associated with 3D graphics, mm -hmm. even though they were pre-rendered and it was just an image. It looked like a 3D thing that you were exploring. And it really felt like. Yeah, and because of that CD medium, there was enough space to store all that for the first time, and that's what really made it work. You couldn't have done that on a disk-based system before. You just couldn't have distributed a game with that much raw data in it, and that's why mm. it worked so well and popularized the medium. Does anyone remember the name to the of the sequel to Mist? Yeah, Riven. 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 No, strange no, no. name. Not Riven as colon the Mist. sequel to Mist. Oh, really? Yeah. That's <laughs> the name. The name of the sequel to Mist is Riven colon the sequel to Mist. There's been just some remakes. Of Mist too, where they, they it's actually rendered out in 3D and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. um, it's funny to revisit. Uh, Brandon and I put in the Mist disc to a contemporary computer today, <laughs> and the only thing we were able to actually do with that was open up the uh, QuickTime files because <laughs> all of the the stored video. You see all the was little in uh, the letter notes from the books. We yeah. saw there was real acting in it, of course, from mm -hmm. the brothers and the father, where they're yelling yeah. at you to find pages. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's most. That's, I, I just remember exploring. Like I never got anywhere in that game. It was but I played weird. A lot. The it was so empty, but I could not shake this feeling, like this unsettling feeling that someone was watching me. And I guess because I play mm. games where there's always enemies, I'm like, where are they? Mm. They're gonna jump out at me. I go in like this this tree world, and you'd see like these huts where people live. Like, okay, where did they go? Yeah, yeah. this is getting kind of creepy. And it's like, a creepy game. Yeah, it is. It's very creepy. Uh, there's kind of this minimal ambient sound going on the whole time. It's very well done there. Uh, there were very few ways to die. She pointed out you didn't have a lot to interact with until you get to the end of the game. It's it's almost impossible to die. And I think that's some of what attracted people to it. Most of what I remember being miss or about missed is being angry. Uh, oh, yeah. At some of the puzzles. It's frustrating. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, and, it's... and you can fail to a wall. And that's when you have to get on AOL or your local news groups and figure out what you're doing. Yeah, well, I had you a, a strategy I had a guide, book which I had. of notes, me and my yeah. dad. Oh, really? That's yeah, cool. Yeah, my dad and I, we would just like oh, write man, notes. I'd like, love to see those. I love We're in this notes world now. Can't mm -hmm. find out how to get past this one wall.